how to build an easy squid farm in Minecraft. These are the resources you will need for this farm. So the first step to this farm is to find yourself somewhere to build it, which ideally will be out in the ocean, and you should also be about 50 blocks away from land. So to get started on this farm, I would recommend that you build it a bit up in the sky, just to increase the spawn rates in the farm and prevent squid from spawning inside the ocean. So I would recommend that you build yourself up to about Y level 137. Okay, so after you build yourself up to Y level 137, we will start by making the collecting system. So on top of the block you have at Y level 137, expand it by one more block and then place a double chest on top of that block. Then on top of this chest, place two hoppers going into the chest. And after you've done that, place another block to the right side of the chest going outwards like this. Then place a temporary block on top of that block with then another block on top of that block. And then expand that block by two more blocks going outwards. Then you can destroy this temporary block. So now we should have a three block long line just like this. So from the middle block right here, place one more block going downwards. Then place yourself a redstone comparator on this block right here that's to the right of the chest. Then after you've done that, place yourself a redstone torch right here. And then place three redstone dust on top of this line right here. Then after you've done this, you can place a block to the left right here and then expand this up by three blocks so one two three so basically from this pillar build nine more blocks going out to the left side so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then from this block you will need to build 11 more blocks going backwards so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven then from this block you will need to build 11 more blocks going to the left side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then you can basically run a line of blocks from that last block you placed until this hopper and then what you will need to do is fill in the square with blocks so after you build this platform you will need to get started on placing the railings so to get started on the railings head down to the hoppers right here and place two power rails on top of the hoppers then one more on top of here then place three normal rails going out from the powered rails so one two three then place another power rail then place five more normal rails, so one, two, three, four, five. Then pretty much place five more going backwards. So right here, place a rail and four more. One, two, three, four, another powered rail. And then place rails all the way until here. Then make a little circle right here and run the rails back. Pretty much place a powered rail at the same location. And then just copy this until you get to the end. So build rails back and forth just like this. So if you have built it correctly, at the end right here you should have a single line not going back in a circle. So what you will need to do on this last block right here is to place a powered rail just like this. Then in front of the powered rail place a block right here with then a lever on it and then flick that lever because that will turn on the powered rail. Now what you will need to do now is go under each of the blocks that has a powered rail on them which is right here and then place a lever and flick it on. And if you do this correctly each powered rail should be activated just like that. So just go under here and place basically one under each block that has a powered rail on and then flick it on. So if you have done this correctly the power rails should be on and you can head down here and place a minecart right here and it should be going back and forth just like this so to make sure this is all right the minecart should not stop but it should continue going back and forth just like this and when it hits the block right here it should be pushed backwards so after you've done that you will need to build a magma cube floor on top of all the railings so after you've done that you will need to build yourself a floor of magma blocks on top of all the railings so place a magma block in the corner right here then expand this by 11 blocks to any side just like this then from this block expand it by 11 more going one way just like this then 11 more blocks going this way and then link it up with the other line of magma cubes just like this then after you've done this you will need to fill this in with magma blocks just like this Okay, so we are just done with the magma blocks. So now what we will need to do is build the wall that's going to be around the magma block. So place a temporary block in the corner of the magma cubes. Then place a block going out from the magma cube. Then you can destroy that magma cube. Then simply expand this wall going all around the outside of the magma cube. Just like this if that makes sense. So after you've done with the first wall, you should have something looking like this. This wall should be one block up and out from the magma blocks. Now what we will do while we're building the wall is start to fill this up with water. And we're going to do a simple trick to fill this up easily. So what you're going to need is a couple of water buckets so if you only have two i would recommend that you build an infinity water source but anyways to fill up this the easiest way possible simply place a water block in a corner then expand this by 11 more blocks so what you should have now is a full row of water like this and basically on this side expand this by 11 more water so going to the other corner just like this and after you've done that this should automatically fill up with water just like that so anyways after you've done that you will need to expand this wall by one more block then pretty much do the same as we did before with the water. So then basically place 12 water buckets on one of the sides of the walls. Then do the same on another side, just like right here for example. And if you have done this correctly, this should then fill up completely with water. You can jump into it, you will be pushed down, it's right. So then what you will need to do is expand this wall by one more block going upwards. And then just do the same with the water. 
Okay, so now the farm is almost done. So one of the last steps to this is to place a row of slabs going on top of the wall we built around the farm. Now we're placing slabs here to prevent mobs from spawning on top of this wall. Okay, so now the farm is pretty much done. So now we only really have one more step to do and that, and that is to find yourself a suitable AFK location. So what I have personally found the best is to go at the bottom of the wall we built around the farm and then build about 22 blocks going away from the farm. So simply do that. One, two, three, four, five. Then after you build yourself 22 blocks away from the farm, I like to build myself about seven blocks up. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you can destroy the bottom blocks and I like to stand AFK at about this location because I feel like it simply works the best. But you can of course stand AFK lower down, higher up, closer to the farm, wherever you want. And as you see, there was some ink in the farm. There is some more there. It was just picked up by the hopper minecart though. So as you see, the farm is clearly working. So if we head down here, this minecart will stop right here whenever there is ink in it. Then it will be pushed back out and we have already gotten some ink. So yeah, to stand AFK, simply jump on top of this block and uh, just wait for all that squid to spawn. So anyways, that is pretty much it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about how this works or anything like that, feel free to comment them and I'll answer them right away. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.